Today in History. It is April 4th, and we're going to continue with our journey to the past. That's right, and we're going to talk about the Beatles a little bit more, as we mentioned just a few moments ago. But first, here is a quiz question for you. The Beatles were also known as, number one, the Fab Four, or number two, the Avengers. Okay, one more time. The Beatles were also known as, number one, the Fab Four, or number two, the Avengers. Oh, it, my goodness. Okay. Yeah, if you know, well, was Iron Man in the Beatles? I don't know. <laughs> uh, if you know the answer, text in pounder sharp 1045 for 51, or leave your answers on our Bondi board for a chance to win a Lock and Lock Eco Mug Cup. All right, so here's the list of what happened on this day in history. Today in history. In 1958, the peace symbol is displayed in public for the first time. And in 1964, the Beatles occupy the top five positions on the Billboard Hot 100 pop chart. Again, this day was a day full of events, some small, some groundbreaking, and some instrumental that changed the course of history. One milestone moment achieved was the isolation of vitamin C. Vitamin C. The yeah. Vit vitamin C. Uh-huh. And mm. that made it possible for millions of people to fight off common diseases like the cold. Wow. That's one cool event that mm -hmm. happened today. And most probably you have, or at least tried once, tried it once, the famous... Morning special logo? No, MS. That is morning special, right? Microsoft. Microsoft? Ah. <laughs> okay. Well, Microsoft logo <laughs> on your computer. Well, right. in my case, that is morning special logo. Do we have well, a morning special logo on the com on the we computer? We used to. Uh, computer? Not really. Okay. But, uh, well, anyway, Microsoft uh, was founded on this day in 1975. <laughs> you know, it's about time. I think it's you're about right. time. We're we're almost getting there. Twentieth anniversary, yeah. I think, and it's about time, don't you think? I do think so. Right. So, well, anyway, among other events, we also have the debut of a sign that has become universally known to represent peace. Pretty cool, right? Today in 1958, the peace sign, also known as the symbol of the CND or Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament, was first displayed in London, and you're seeing it there on Point and Radio. It was first displayed in London in what is claimed to be the largest peace campaign in Europe to date. Uh-huh. And the symbol was designed by Gerald Holtum, and since its debut, it has become the international representative emblem of peace campaigns, anti-war movements, and peace as a concept. Now, you might be wondering about the design mm. of the symbol. The design is based on the combination of the semaphore symbol for N, which is two flags held 45 degrees down on both sides. There you go. Yeah, yes. it seems like a rather complicated uh, description, but it's actually quite simple. And this <gasps> forms a triangle at the bottom and the letter D. OK, mm -hmm. which is made with two flags, one above the head and one at the feet. And you're seeing that again right. in Boynton Radio forming the vertical line. This way we have N and D mm -hmm. or nuclear disarmament. Uh, Interesting, right? 그러네요. Nuclear mm. disarmament. 를 상징하는 N과 D. 가만히 보니까 저기 그런 그 글. 자 모양도 어렴풋이도 보이게 되고 자이 깃발을 양손으로 이렇게 팔로 두 팔을 벌려서 들고 있다가 또 위아래로 깃발을 다시 수직으로 드는 이 모습을 합쳐 놓은 것 같기도 하고 어쨌든 바로 그 피스 어, 평화를 상징하는 이, 어, 이 상징이 바로 처음 공개된 날이기도 합니다. Speaking of peace signs another internationally recognized symbol is the V V there you go, yeah. hand gesture. That's it. Right, with the palm outward. There you go, John Lennon. Mm -hmm. And and the origin of the symbol was actually icon uh, ironic, ironic in nature. Yeah, and because it was ironic, the symbol was used to represent victory during World War II and also by former U.S. President Nixon, right, mm -hmm. to signal victory, right, right in the Vietnam War. But this gesture was adopted by protesters against that war to convey peace. Ah. Well, although the V sign has existed and used since the 15th century, according to records, the modern usage of this gesture can be traced back to the 1960s. But remember, the gesture is done with the palm outwards. Mm. 이렇게 하면 난 손바닥이 이렇게 어, 안쪽이 아니라 바깥쪽으로 나오게 해야 된다는 거죠. Yeah, that's right. 이, 이렇게 듣는 사람 못본것 같은데 이렇게 들어야 되죠. 
그렇죠? 손바닥이 바깥쪽으로 향하게끔. Uh, in Korea, when you take a picture, of course, 아, everybody 이거고요. does that. <웃음> 손, 손, 눈, yeah. 눈에다가 이렇게. Is there any reason or meaning behind that? Maybe I'm asking the wrong person. Is, <웃음> yes. can, can someone let me know why? If there's 왜 a... 우리는 사진을 찍을 때 V를 할까? Yeah. I, I, I wonder if there's a reason for it, if it's just mm. cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, you know what? Uh, actually, it was on this day when the Beatles, also known as the Fab Four, is it Fabulous Four, maybe? I think so. Mm, made history by taking the top five spots on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and the popularity chart used, uh, well, this is the popularity chart used in the American music industry, which ranks songs based on radio play, sales, and now online streaming. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're going to check out a clip from the Beatles right here. So that was number one. We mm. said that their five songs occupied the top five spots, uh-huh. right? One on the list was Can't Buy Me Love. Right. Number and two, mm. Twist and Shout. Twist and Shout. Number three, She Loves You. Okay. Number four, I Want to Hold Your Hand. Mm. And number five, Please Please Me. Wow. 자, Billboard Hot 100 chart에서 1위부터 5위까지 모두 비틀즈의 노래가 차지한 바로 그날이 오늘이라고 합니다. Mm. What a historic day it Pretty is. Pretty cool, right? The only other artist to come close to that feat, guess who? 50 Cent. You wouldn't think it would be 50 Cent, right? Right. Other than the Beatles. But he occupied in 2005, that was number one, number four, and number five spots on the list. No other artist uh, has achieved placing three songs in the top spots, one after the other. Pretty okay. cool, right? Right. Congratulations. And the answer to the quiz question is, the Beatles were also known as? The Fab Four, number the one. The Fab Four. 이윤정님께 Luck and Luck 에코 마우커 보내드리겠습니다. 축하드립니다. All right. That's going to do it for Today in History. We'll be right back with Steve Miller, and it will be time for travel. Travel notes. Oh, here's the song I was talking about before, ah. but not by the Beatles. This is a cover of the Beatles song Blackbird by Sarah McLaughlin.